Hello, and uh, good afternoon or good evening, matters on one time you're watching the video. Uh, this is our biology group. I'm Tyler Sanders. Um, I'm Drew Schleeman, and I will be uh, discussing about um, our hypothesis, and um, I'll, I'll be answering the question. Uh, my name is Quinn McQuarrie. I'll be uh, completing this project. Uh, Frank Gravarino, and I'll be discussing the evidence we found uh, through our research. All right, thank you, thank you. Let's start this. Okay, so to begin here, this is a question we were asked, is junk DNA easily open to mutations, thereby leading to new genes? Um, we will first compare and contrast the question, form a hypothesis, test the hypothesis, discuss our results, and conclude key concepts. So uh, first to start here, we're gonna, what is junk DNA exactly? Uh, DNA is a deoxyribonucleic acid that is self-replicating material present in all living organisms. It is the carrier with genetic information. <coughs> junk DNA is a collective label for the portions of DNA sequences of the chromosome in which no function has yet been identified, therefore the name junk. About 98.5% of the human genome has been designated as junk. The junk label is therefore recognized as something uh, of a misnomer and many prefer the more neutral term, non-coding DNA. And to take it over next, we're gonna have listen to Drew Sleeman. Thank you, Todd. Okay, um, for the hypothesis, uh, as a group, uh, we, um, we came up with our own hypothesis. Um, you also gave us a hypothesis that we um, respectfully researched. Um, and your hypothesis was that uh, uh, junk DNA serves, uh, serves no purpose in the genome. Um, we, as a group, dis uh, respectfully disagree. Um, we believe it does. It does serve a purpose in the genome, which uh, we will try to explain to you right here. Um, first off, key terms and concepts. Um, DNA. DNA is a deoxyribonucleic acid that is self-replicating materials present in all living organisms. Um, it is the carrier. It is the carrier of genetic information. Mutation. Uh, a lot to say about mutation. <laughs> mutation is the uh, is the change of DNA, uh, the hereditary materials of life. Uh, mutations uh, are essential to all evolution. Um, they are raw materials of genetic information. Uh, without mutation, um, evolution could not occur. So it's kind of a big deal. Uh, genome. Genome is the uh, genetic material of all of, of an organism. Uh, it is encoded in either DNA or RNA viruses. The genome includes both genes and the non-coding sequence of DNA and RNA. So the answer, um, the answer uh, to our question that we uh, came up with after many hours of research, um, uh, very strong evidence showing that uh, there really is no such thing as junk DNA. Um, all parts of DNA serve a, uh, uh, a great, a great uh, purpose uh, throughout the throughout cell. Uh, another way that junk DNA is being used um, is in a process called cap independence, cap in, in, independent translation as T's. Um, recently, uh, scientists have developed a technique whereby uh, they are able to capture and mask the wide diversity of translation enhancing elements, uh, fragments, um, attached to mRNAs um, in, uh, involved in CAP independent translations. After capturing these Ts and literally trillions of RNA molecules, um, researchers determined their DNA sequences and locations all over the human genome. And to uh, support the evidence, um, I'll kindly ask Alex to come up here and finish this. Thanks, Drew. <coughs> um, supporting evidence we came up with through our research. Over the years, many scientists have completed research on whether the junk DNA truly is junk or not. As we studied the topic of whether junk DNA is truly junk or not, we found many articles were rejecting the term junk DNA 
almost saying that the so-called junk DNA does serve a purpose, a very important purpose, in the genome. While reading the article, novel, junk DNA sequences jumpstart protein production, uh, researchers stated that uh, they just identified over 12,000 DNA sequences in the human genome, most of them in areas once thought to be junk DNA. These newly discovered DNA sequences called translation enhancing elements, Ts, jumpstart protein production in certain situations and provide a whole new perspective on how proteins are produced in the cell. We have a couple pictures of junk DNA. Uh, the first one, junk DNA theory belongs in the trash because we believe that there is no such thing as junk DNA. Um, all DNA serves a purpose and without the so-called junk DNA, we would not be able to evolve. Now here's Quinn. Thanks, Rev. So yeah, we threw up these two pictures, uh, as Rav explained, uh, kind of to give a little comical uh, relief to this uh, this uh, project, but um, as we said before, uh, junk DNA, it, uh, it's uh, something that's not necessarily true. Um, it serves a good purpose because all DNA serves a good purpose in the cell. So um, let's go on to the next slide. Um, we just kind of threw up this picture. Uh, this is a picture of a DNA model. Um, we're going to have a little uh, video here for you, kind of a overview slash review, um, kind of give you some background knowledge um, on DNA itself, and then uh, we'll conclude this up. DNA contains two strands of building blocks called nucleotides, arranged like a spiral staircase. Each nucleotide includes three parts, a phosphate group, a sugar molecule, and one of four bases, adenine, guanine, cytosine, or thymine. The sugar phosphate bonds form the double backbone of the molecule, the handrails of the staircase. But we find the genetic key to DNA in the steps of this stairway, the nitrogen-containing bases. These bases link up using hydrogen bonds in a very specific way. Adenine will bond only with thymine, A to T. Cytosine only bonds with guanine, C to G. While these basic pairings never change, the order of the pairs along each strand varies greatly from one species to the next. In this elegant design, we see how nature stores the instructions to build all living things. Advanced genomic testing now offered by Cancer Treatment Centers of America. Profile. So uh, that video showed uh, kind of a little overview of uh, the DNA itself and uh, how it serves its purpose for all life forms on Earth. Uh, makes up everything and uh, makes us go around. Um, kind of throw up this uh, little uh, diagram here to show how DNA, RNA transfers the protein and uh, kind of the whole cycle of everything, how uh, it all fits in. Um, and then we'll uh, go on and we'll conclude this. So uh, in our conclusion, we found that uh, there is truly no such thing as junk DNA. Extra or so-called junk DNA is always serving a purpose towards the evolution of the cell itself. From making proteins to messaging other parts of the cell to working to work or perform certain functions, the task of junk DNA is evident in every cell. So as you can see, DNA, it's just DNA. Thank you. Here's your point. So hopefully, uh, Get a little background, um, hopefully answer our, our questions correctly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.